All right, so here's <coughs> the, um, this is really another one of the big surprises that it's independent of the parameter. Do you want to say with 50? Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, so how this parameter varies between 1 and 2. So we saw that at 1.5 we got 1 50th of the time. Um, how about we go by close to 2, 1.9. All right, 1.9. So here we're hoping uh, that we stay around 1 50th of the chance of uh, exceeding our largest one. And it'll be interesting to see what this shape is because it hopefully it looks the same, but I, I don't know. I actually haven't even run this myself yet. So this. now there's a peak that's a little bit farther away from zero. But this shouldn't matter. Hmm. Well, it does. Interesting. So we were expecting to get 50, but 24. We got 20. Half of it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Well, yeah, maybe it, maybe it was. It's definitely a very different looking shape. Don't think it would be a coincidence if it's that far off. But who knows? Okay. Same so. sort of shape. Same sort of shape. Minute 23. Yeah. Uh oh. So, you, we almost, we went from 1.5 to almost 2. That sort of halved it. Halved oh, aha, uh -huh. I made a mistake. It was a good thing I was experimenting. I was picking the random distributions from the 1.5 distribution. Uh -huh. I have to change it twice. Uh -huh. So, okay, so that happens when you're doing experiments. Phew. All right, so this should give us our... Yeah, so we saw something that we weren't expecting, and then we said, well, okay, what's going on? Our, our, our experimental results are differing from the theory, and so maybe... All right, so now we see the same shape. Okay. Ah, all right. 47. Now we're back to where sort of an acceptable error range, all right? Maybe we should run it one more time here, and then, then I'll have you pick a different number from 1.9 and 1.5. It's a good lesson. Mm -hmm. It's also a good computer programming lesson that sometimes um, it's easy to have something goof up. All right, so let's see where we are here. Okay. 51. All right, so it looks about right. All right, so pick another one between between 1 and 2. Mm, um, let's go down to... Uh, I was no. yeah. uh, let's go to 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1, okay. Let's go. And let's remember to change it twice. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're expecting again uh, to find about 1 50th of, of the time, and we're hoping the 1.5 and 1.9 distribution actually kind of looked like this. Mm -hmm. And so let's, let's hope that it looks the same. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. No, it was <coughs> very close. Yeah. All right. Let's run it one more time. And uh, then, then we'll see. We'll. So we have a. It's a. This is a really nice statistical idea. The the if you have n selections, the thing that you're not seeing sort of has a 1 over n chance of, of happening, the largest thing. So, mm. yeah, we're, we're in pretty good it's shape. 52. Yeah. Um, cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the things you have to be careful about is, uh, is what this isn't telling us. This is only telling us the chance of being larger than our largest, but it's not telling us the ch how much larger you're going to be. It's just saying, are you larger or not? So if our largest was 10, this isn't telling us if we're at 10.1 or 20 or 100. It's just saying yes or no, are you larger? Yeah. So you, you do um, have to factor both things into account when you're, when you're looking at, at data. This is cool, though. It is. All right. Good job, guys.